a fan Do you just well. feel like these yeah. going to be like a little fashion project? <laughs> yeah. Mum, I just realised a problem. Are we even going to be able to fit in there with little bees? I don't know. We're going to get in the way, especially with Daddy Fizz filming. <laughs> yeah. What's good, Fizz fam? Today we're going to be finally filming Bee's wardrobe tour. Bee is currently sharing me and Daddy Fizz's walk-in wardrobe. She's got her own little section, which we're now about to show you. Plus, it's basically her massive clothes haul. I've, <laughs> I've literally bought all of her clothes up to six months. And I'll explain some of the reason behind that as well. So, come inside. First. What I do think, you think? Maybe we should start with the drawers. Okay. Yeah. Right, so these three drawers are B's here. So do you want to do okay. the first one? So this is B's first drawer. So I'm assuming this is for shoes and socks and things like that. So first of all, oh mum, I do you know you <laughs> had we had this. This is a little swimsuit. This is for three to six months so this is like when we're probably going to be traveling we're probably not going to go before she's three months and i think it protects them from the sun but it's just enough so that she can still have some exposure and i think this is gorgeous because sienna had one of these and i think you did as well yeah and it's like spf sun protection swimming yeah upf 50 so oh. it can protect their delicate little skin so then she can like be bathing by the pool or swimming in the pool we should get one of those float, yeah. floating aids <laughs> yeah. so that's her little swimsuit I didn't really know where to put that so I popped that in there and I think it's absolutely gorgeous so now we have two little shoes here which are both from Primark so these are little like booties and then we've got these sort of like pump summery sort of shoes they, these are from Harriet yeah these are from Auntie Harriet and then we also have these watch you and Sienna chose yeah. you? these are from Baby Gap and these are like some cute little shoes to go with her dresses these aren't like real shoes they're really soft and bendy she's not going to be walking these are just for show and she will just have these on now and then for special occasions because some of you guys were a bit concerned when we bought these you were like oh baby shouldn't wear shoes I am aware of that but these are really really soft and she'll only be wearing them for a little while and I can Probably for Instagram pictures. I, I feel like yeah. they're just going to basically fall off, or when she's older, she'll just rip them off anyway, because that is what exactly what you did and exactly what Sienna did. Harriet bought this, and it is a collection of these super cute socks. Oh. Look, there's like 3D bows and teddies and little kitties on there. They're really, really cute. What I've got to do, guys, I haven't done this yet, and I'm going to start doing it in the beginning of June. I'm going to wash all of her clothes, put them back in the drawers, and make sure that all the chemicals have come off, and they're all ready for her to wear, because you should shouldn't put babies in clothes when they're fresh from the shops they do treat the clothes with like chemicals and then I also just like that I feel like when I'm nesting that'd be really nice to do that so first of all we have these little koala socks which are all the way from Australia and these are what the Norris nuts got for a little Sabre bee. and the Norris nuts yeah. they, they bought Aww. bee a huge collection of stuff we'll put a little a pop up for the video because we bought the Sabre and the Norris nuts and baby clothes and they bought us some baby clothes and they're really really cool I think I got these for yeah. bee these are some socks from H&M and it says sister's rule on it and then we've got these unicorn ones from gap b is going to have a lot of unicorn stuff because mia's really into unicorn mm -hmm. things so i think it's quite nice that she gets to have a little bit of mia's personality on her as well and then we have these really nice sort of lacy pink white socks and these are from next I really like these socks. I've got one for first size for when they're first newborn because their feet are really tiny when they're oh. first born. And I think these are really cute because she's going to be born in the summer. I want her to wear dresses and like summery clothes, but then their feet can get a bit cold because they can't really wear tights. So I've bought some little bit newborn ones, which oh, look, I mean, look how tiny they are. And then I've got the next size up, which is naught to three months. I like babies to wear like modern sort of trendy stuff, but a bit traditional as well. Yeah. And I think little ankle socks with frills and lace on are really traditional I really like yeah. them and then we've got some more like frilly socks and these are from Gap and these ones have got really pretty flowers on them I like those ones well I think we've got plenty of socks here I hope yeah. that we've got enough sometimes I go through this thought process I'm like have I got too much or have I not got enough because babies do grow really quickly plus they can have leakages because like their poo's quite runny <laughs> plus they can sick on their clothes so it's always best to have two 
too much because then at the end of the day you can just because they hardly wear them for that long do they and they're yeah. always a good condition you can just donate them to a charity shop and then other families can buy them who haven't got a lot of money or it's just a really good way to like reuse like and recycle clothing here we have the sort of practical clothes inside these are like a mixture of what they're gonna wear when they're first ball what she's gonna wear I don't talking about babies in general or like when they go to bed so here we have all of her baby grows this one is from Jojo Mama and Bebe and this says born in 2018 I really like this quite neutral and it could be for a boy or a girl. So this is basically the only unisex piece we have. So <laughs> if the person who gave us the ultrasound got the gender wrong, then um, <laughs> me yeah. will have only this to wear, which will be quite funny. I really like this one. Really good quality and thick and like just feels really soft. We have another one from Jojo, Mam and Baby. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh. This has unicorns all over it. And I really love babies wearing these when they're first born or just in general because they're so cuddly and they're really practical. I just feel like you want them to stay babies for a long time, so I really mm. like these. Do you like that, Mia, because yeah. the unicorns on it? It's really soft as well, isn't it? It's lovely. She's gonna feel well luxurious in that. We've got another one from Jojo, and this is what Sienna chose when she did the babies um, clothes buying challenge. It's got little mice on it. I really like that, that's super cute. So she's got another one there. And like I said, they do go through these quite quickly. They may even need to like have two or three changes out of baby grows when they're first born. And then I've got a little set here from Next. Yeah, so there's this one with a little duck and a butterfly. And then there's this little starry one. I love the star ones, that's my favorite. And then there's this one with all flowers on it. And they've all got little frilly bits, which is so cute. I know. They match her socks. I really like getting the set. And I this size I bought her is up to one month. So this is what she'll be wearing when she's first born. They'll grow out of this pretty quickly, but the thing is though, if you get naught to three months, then they're always too big. So this is like the sad moment when they when they actually no longer fit in the like newborn size and they go up to naught to three months. It makes you feel a bit sad because you're like, they're really growing so quickly. And then we have the next set here, which is naught to three months. So it goes up so you can see the difference. And I really yeah, like wow. this set. So this is another set from Next. I really like Next because they do really good quality clothes, but they're really nice, like funky colors. And I really just like, I just yeah. really like the designs of I these. Like that one. Because she's going to be a summer baby, I've actually bought what they're called romper suits. And it's basically a sleep suit, but with the legs cut off and the arms oh. so it could be really hot because she's going to be a july baby and this is a, a free pack and this is up to three months and this is one is a star one we've got a lovely duck one here again and another floral one and oh another floral one it's got a four pack actually i didn't know that so i've been prepared with all these like essentials i call these and then here we have a collection of vests these ones yeah. are from gap and these are really nice because they can actually wear these under dresses like short sleeve dresses and this keeps their bodies warm because even though it's going to be quite hot i sometimes feel like in the uk it can be quite breezy and cold and you can't always rely on it being super hot. So obviously you don't want your baby to overheat, but then you don't want them to get too cold in the summer either. I really like these sort of colors, like yeah. lilacs and pastel greens and whites. Mm -hmm. We've got some there. And then I've also got some more little vests here, but these are up three to six months. These are when she's, this, these are gonna be not fitting her until the autumn. I want it to be really prepared because we're thinking of going on holiday or going away when it's winter here. Basically what happens is once like August comes around, the shops only start stocking winter autumn clothing so i had to get it all now and be prepared because if i waited too late to get her next lot of clothes then there'd only be wintry stuff and if we're going to hot countries or traveling i wouldn't be able to get them and it, it, even even saying that when we went to california we went to grand canary and it was the winter time like say from october to january they only sold winter stuff there even though it's really boiling so yeah. you can't even go to that country and buy it <laughs> so i've had to be really prepared so that's why i've got so much here so i've got like another set of vests which these are florally colors as you can see I just love all these bright, fresh, floral, pastel -y stuff. You got this one, didn't you? Oh, uh, this one says Sister's Rule. And this one's actually a long sleeve one, so this will be nice to keep her nice and warm. And this is from H&M, and it's in the size one to two months. Yeah, so she won't tiny. be able to wear it immediately, but it's really cute. Yeah, because you and Senna like that, because she's going to be a girl, and there's just going to be three of them, and mm -hmm. Daddy Fish is going to be on his own in this family of girls. I think it was quite appropriate, wasn't it? And then Harriet, Auntie Harriet from Pugalicious Life, she was kindly bought the this other pack of six to nine months. She's been extra prepared. Harriet's like, I think you should buy a head on sizes. So Harriet's got the next lot of vests there for me. And these are really nice and colourful and just what I like as well. 
I think these are from Primark because how it likes getting all the bargain yeah. stuff. That's really, really good of her. This is from Sabre and the Norris Nuts. And this is like a fleecy all-in-one jumpsuit, sleep Super suit. Soft. I don't know. It's gorgeous. She's going to look cute in this. But look at the little ears. I really want um, little B to have like the cutest little outfits because when they get old, you can't put these things on them. So you've got to really take advantage of them when they're really cute and little. <laughs> you say that. Cute. She's got ears on. Oh, I actually, okay, <laughs> that is actually yeah, I wear ears all the Hang time. on a minute, I should even wear ears, shouldn't yeah. I? Yeah. By the way, I keep saying B because we haven't thought of a name for her yet, so we're calling her B at the moment if you're wondering why. So this drawer is for her bottoms and cardigans. So we've got some little leggings. So we've got these nice yellow ones, which are from Gap. I think we've got another pair of yeah. yellow ones. Oh, are these different sizes? Different sizes. Like I said, yeah. I've had to get several sizes in it, guys. So this is not the three months. Look how tiny those oh. are. This is three to six months. Oh, they're so tiny. Look at the difference though, what they can grow. <laughs> Gap had a really, really good like sale and like um, offer on. So I basically got loads Blue of ones. them. These ones are from H&M. They go with a sister's rule set. Oh yeah, yeah. I really like these leggings because they're just really bright and funky and they'll go with all our dresses and t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So we've got another floral one and then some more blue ones in a slightly bigger size. And then I really like these and I feel like Daddy Fizz will like these as well. Oh. There's like some little jogging bottoms and these are three to six months so they were for when she's a little bit bigger but I thought they were so cute and I like that they're like a grey so they'll go with everything. And then we've got her two cardigans. These are what me and Sienna both got her. So she's got this yellow one from Gap and then she's also got this white one from Gap. And they'll go over her dresses and keep her quite like warm if it's a bit yeah. cool and breezy here in the UK. Right, whilst we're here on the floor, we might as well show, this is like the little accessory little section I've got here. Yeah. This is a little crown, which the Sabre and the Norris Nuts bought for little B. And I think it goes on their head, I think. And I think that's yeah. really cool. And mm -hmm. I can't wait for her to wear it. Daddy Fizz loves this one, don't you? And then we have this really pretty like, is it strawberry or is it watermelon? It's a strawberry. It's a strawberry little hat which is from Gap. And I'm pretty sure you said this will this will be good for when she's like first born, when she's coming home. Well, she's yeah. not might not be coming home from the hospital because I may be giving oh, yeah. birth to her here. Oh yeah. But this yeah. would be really perfect to keep her little like her body warm and insulated. And this is newborn size. And I've got a little cardigan that matches this, which I'll show you in a moment. This is just too cute. Like when you go baby clothes shopping and you're about to have a baby, sometimes you just know everything is so cute and you can't decide what you want to get. But I thought, I just can't wait for her to wear that. I really like the fruitiness of that. And then we have another collection of hats and these are from Neck. So there's a pink one, a starry one, and then a floral one. And these actually are all matching to the baby grows that we saw uh, earlier. So she's going to be like having the same ha colour hat on and then the bottoms and I thought that's going to look so cute. So now we've got these like sun hats from for her and these are from Jojo, Mama and Bebe. So we've got two. Oh, this no, one. No, no, they're separate. It's from Primark, which I think Auntie Harriet got for her. Yeah, and that's and three then, to six months. So that's for yeah. the next stage up when she's a bit older. She's I like literally just born. got this one today because I thought, I, right, I haven't got her a hat for when she's first born. And I really like it because it's a little bonnet style. <laughs> and they can do it under the chin and she's oh. gonna look so cute in that. I just can't wait to put her in this hat. I'm so excited for that. So now moving on to the bibs, we first of all have these bandana bibs, which are from Primark. I think Harriet got these, so we've got this smile and be happy one, this flowery one, and this polka dot one. And then we've last of all got this koala bib, which is all the way from Australia. Sabre Norris and the Norris Nuts got this for us. And it's got fluffy ears. It's so cute, isn't it, man? Yeah. These are gonna be really good because they, because even though she's not gonna be having food until she's like six months old, this is really good for like their milk. So like from when they're sick, it catches yeah. off all of that. And the dribble. Yeah, and they the have dribble. so much dribble, which can make their clothes really soaked when like they're teething. So these will be perfect and I like that Harry chose these ones because these yeah. seem like they'll go with all her baby grows and all her other things And then obviously this is super cute mm -hmm. being from Australia And then obviously I wanted her to be have some really nice accessories So we've got some nice headbands here These ones are from Monsoon and even though it says they're for babies I feel like they look really big so I'm not sure when they they're do. gonna fit her They look like they're for a really big head don't they? They look like they'd fit me Yeah but they're so pretty because when Sienna was a little baby I used to always put little headbands on her and she looked really cute in them and I just think oh I just really want to do it. And then we've got some more here from Jojo, Mama and Baby. Sienna bought these for 
little bee. And then these are from H&M, and I think you chose these ones, didn't you, Mia? Yeah. So these are really cute. So she's got loads here to keep her going. Some babies can have really funny shaped heads and the headbands can look a bit weird on it because there <laughs> were some headbands that I couldn't put on Sienna because they just looked really strange. So you just never know how your baby's head's gonna come out. Do you? Some babies just have <laughs> weird heads. <laughs> so we're showing you all the baby grows, the leggings, the cardigans, and like the accessories and socks. Now we're gonna show you like the actual outfits, like the dresses and the jumpsuits, and also some little jackets which we've got, which are over here. I try to be really organized and I've put them into little sections. And I've also tried to put them into size order as well. Here we have the t-shirt. So this little t-shirt here, it's naught to three months and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It'll go with her leggings. And this is from Baby Gap. And I really like this because I just think it's a really nice, girly, bright, fresh colour. So I just really like, like the blues and the greens and the purples. I think she's going to look gorgeous in this, whether she has blue eyes or brown eyes. And then over here, I have this nice little shirt. So this is from Baby Gap. There's not the three months as well. This is like a t-shirt and a vest all in one. So you can put like some leggings or like something underneath. The thing about a vest as well, I forgot to mention, is that they have these popper bits here and it helps hold the nappy in place as well. So there's another reason for vests. It's not just to keep them warm, but it's also quite practical. These ones are three to six months from Baby Gap. So I've got those there for when she grows a little bit bigger and these are really nice, funky, bright colors. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And then we have this t-shirt here. Can you remember who this was from, Mia? No, who was it from? Saber and the Noah Snuts, they oh, sent this yeah, one. I, I really that. like this. This is really funky, it looks really cool. And then this one is from Auntie Harry and it says, every girl is a hero. I really like that message. And this is from Primark and it's three to six months because Harry likes to buy the things so she's got some things for when she's a little bit older. And I've done the same thing as well. I've got these three t-shirts here from Next. So I've gone for oh, pastel colors really again. So there's white there, which is absolutely gorgeous. We've got this lovely blue one, and then we've got this lilac one. And we've got this other one here from Harriet. This is from Primark, and it says, awesome <laughs> sister, very fitting. And Harriet's been even more prepared. Nine to 12 months, this t-shirt is. I love that color as well. And then we have this little outfit, which Mia oh. chose, didn't you? Yes, I did, This yeah. is from Jojo, Mum and Baby, and obviously, Mia being a unicorn fan she chose this so it's a t-shirt with some matching leggings and there's the little unicorn which goes on the bum and they're gonna look really cute when they're crawling around in this and this is not the three months actually so now we're coming on to the section where they're like sets so there are the t-shirts and here are the sets because this is what Sabre the Norris nuts bought for little bees a little koala outfit some little cute shorts there with a koala on the bum that is going to be so cute there's something really cute about babies having like a little pattern on the bum like when they're crawling around so cute and a little matching t-shirt there and then Harriet bought this little set here I think this is lovely and girly pink with the grey and patterned leggings there's some little kitties on there I didn't show you this actually I don't know where I left these bits out but Harriet bought two pairs of shorts I didn't know where to put these but these are for like six to nine months from for when she's a bit older but I really like these shorts because if we are going to be somewhere hot and she's that age they're going to be perfect because these are really thin and like I don't really call that like linen material. How it done really well getting those because I haven't actually got any shorts for B. And now we're going to be moving on to the dresses because B is going to be a little girl and I feel like babies just have to wear dresses as well. So we have the most cutest and it's kind of traditional as well outfit which Darren's nanny and granddad bought for little B. And it has the little bonnet which is so cute. I love bonnets and babies. That's what I meant by I like traditional things as well as them being quite modern. I just feel like babies wearing traditional things, you kind of like get that, I don't know, you kind of like the treasure in their innocence a little bit. And you know, you like dressing them up, it's quite fun. We've got some little panties which will go over the nappy. Like I said, it's nice to cover the nappy up. And then we've got this gorgeous dress, and Nanny and Grandad, I think they bought this from Spain, and it's for a newborn baby. So I can't wait to put her in this. And if we go and see them or they come and visit us, we're gonna to have to put her in that outfit, aren't we, Daddy Fizz? And then we have some more dresses here. So first of all, we have this gingham dress, which is from Next, and it's like blue and white, kind of satyrish in a way, like nautical. And then it's got little flowers on it. This one's really cute. And then I have to say, this is one of my favorites because Sienna actually has a matching dress to this, which is bigger. And I think that she won't be able to wear this for a while. I think it's like three to six months. So she won't be able to wear it for a while, but yeah. it's this really pretty rainbow dress, which is also from Next. They didn't actually have that in a smaller size. It oh. only went out from three to six months. If not, I would have got it in not to three months so she could start matching Sienna straight away. Or should I say twinning? 
Twin and Sienna straight Twin. away. Yeah. I feel like this one's kind of to do with Sienna because there's a lot of unicorn stuff, which is kind of like a bit of me. And then this one has got like Buddy on it because it's got sausage dogs on it, which is really funny. And this one's from Zara and this is three to six months. So once again, she won't be able to wear this for like quite a while, but I think it's going to be worth the wait. And then we have this plain sort of denim style dress, which is from Gap. And it also has... This one, I think, which is quite nice. It has the match oh. and little knickers as well. Yeah. I know it looks quite plain, but I feel like this will look really, really good on. Yeah, There's something look about really it. Cute. I think it's going to look nice. If you accessorize it nicely as well, because maybe we could put it with some of her like white shoes and then a, maybe a headband. Do you as just well. feel like these are going to be like a little fashion project? <laughs> yeah. Really, I don't know why, but it's easier to dress a little baby than yourself. I feel like B is going to be the most stylish family member. Here we have a, a huge selection here of jumpsuits. So I just thought babies are going to be really comfortable and they look quite like fashionable in these this i Aww. had to get it because it's a two-piece set from next and this is so how soon is she gonna be able to wear this up to three months Ooh. it actually looks really big yeah but apparently she's gonna be able to wear this you know pretty you know pretty soon i think she's gonna look gorgeous in that i showed daddy fizz and he said he liked it because i was like will you like leopard print yeah. it's a little bit hit, hit and miss really isn't it people who yeah. like leopard print you either love it or you hate it but i think she's gonna look really really cool in that and then i've got another play suit here or romper and this is from monsoon this is so beautiful monsoon makes beautiful clothes it's got like hummingbirds on there and some really floral and it's really really well made and this is not the three months and then i have another one here mia you're gonna love this oh. this is from next this is a really cool play suit because it's actually going to be like one of those really baggy ones and, and it's, it's got, got like this nice sort of fabric like sleeves and stuff hasn't it well i think they're called straps actually. straps straps, yeah, straps. and straps. this is three to six months they didn't do this in a smaller size and then i have another one here from monsoon no 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 this is from gap no this one i've I have another one here from Gap. No, it's next. <laughs> I have another one here from Next, and this is up to three months. And I think this is really pretty. So it's perfect for the summer. And it looks really comfy and casual, mm. but really pretty at the same time. And she's got some hats and headbands that she can wear with that as well. And then I have another one here, which is a bit more dressier because it's like a cotton sort of linen material. And this is from Baby Gap, not to three months. And I love this like coral colour. I think it's going to look really gorgeous on her. And it's got like the little leg bits cut out on the arms. So it's nice and cool, but this is a bit more dressier than the other ones because the other one's like cotton and quite soft. Yeah. But this one looks a bit more dressy, so I really like that. And then I have one here which is from Harrier. I've got a lovely lemon coloured one here from Primark. And I think this is three to six months. And that's a really pretty colour on babies. I think like yellow goes with goes with like all skin tones and eye colours. So I think she's gonna look gorgeous in that. Really like that one. Thank you, Harrier, if you're watching. And then I have another little jumpsuit, and this one is covered in lemons. I really like this one. This reminds me of Italy when we went to Sorrento and we got engaged. Oh, yeah. Because there's all lemons there, and this is, I think this is three to six months as well. I think she's gonna look really cute in this. I just really, really love these outfits for babies because they're gonna keep them nice and cool. They're comfy and they look nice and fashionable, but they still look like a baby as well because they can move around in them freely. And then last of all, we have, I don't know what you call it, it's a dungaree. And this is from Save on the Norris Nuts. And I think one of the t-shirt, the t-shirt, the tassels on the sequins, they want to go with this. They paired that with this and they chose really well. I think this is really, really cute. Look at the back there, <laughs> crisscross. It's kind of like really smart, but at the same time, like really cool. I like that. Yeah. A little bit tomboyish as well, which is going to look really cool in that. Daddy Fizz said he really liked this one. And now we're going to be moving on to like the cardigans and jackets. Do you want to talk about these two first of all, Mia? So we have like really cute fluffy ones. So this one actually goes with the strawberry hat that you guys saw earlier. As you can see, it matches with like the pockets on it. And this has a really cute hood and it has little ears on it. And this one is from Gap and this is not to three months. So she'll be able to wear this like pretty much straight away. And then there's this really nice fluffy one. Wow, this is so soft, mum. And this is from Next and this is up to three months so she'll be able to wear this once again because i feel like this might be good way in case it ever gets a little bit chilly i really like them i can't wait to cuddle with these and then i've got some two ja two jackets here for when she is a bit older so these are three to six months this is like a little zip up hoodie fleece and this is from next i loved it because it was lilac wait it says five to six years on it no, but that's the coat hanger that belongs to something else. Oh, right. I was like, what? And then I've got this really thin waterproof jacket. This is three to six months. This is from Next as well. Shower resistant and lined. Perfect for rainy days. So for if we're traveling, she's not going to want like a thick coat. 
but this will be quite like thin if it's like raining and it'll yeah. keep us slightly warm and I just love the pattern it's really tropical -y, isn't it it's yeah. gorgeous got some neon colors going on in there but then the greens basically we're like family fears like all bright colorful positive and I just thought like colors I really believe in even though at the moment I wear a lot of sort of black sometimes <laughs> and black and white for the girls especially like Sienna and Mia I really like having bright colors because I feel like if you wear bright colors it can really help you feel more like Happy, happy and, and energetic yeah. and energized. I just love color so much. So this is everything that we have got for B so far. So we've got all her clothes, we've got her sleepwear, her socks. We've got a couple of blankets. One was from Sabre the Norris Nuts, but I have got to stock up on a few more blankets and bedding. But that is what me and Daddy Fizz are gonna be doing probably this weekend or maybe next week. We're gonna go and get all like the push chair, the cot, the sheets, all those other practical stuff. We've decided to get it like about a month before she's born then we're going to basically show you all of that when we have it as well so it's going to be another massive haul but that is her clothes that we've got for her so far guys sneak up on sienna to say bye because she's got the headphones on bye mate <laughs> you having fun so that's going to be the end of today's video. If you're new, make sure to click subscribe to join the Fizz fam. Also go and follow us over on Instagram at Family Fizz. You can see all the behind the scenes stuff like yeah. Sienna having loads of fun here, yeah. doing all your colouring and watching videos. Also, don't forget guys, comment which was your favourite baby item piece. There was a lot. That if was like remember. a mega haul, wasn't it? My hand was shaking just from holding <laughs> the camera for that one. Right, we'll see you all again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching.